is moksha and that purpose is you you know something let me tell you one thing before i before i proceed in this call somebody asked me the question why mukti today we were having a discussion why mukti what is the purpose have you even tasted that ananda have you tasted the euphoria of satchidananda have you experienced the joy the bliss this is nothing imagine becoming one with sip you know what kind of bliss is that even some of us who are blessed to be free from the misery of the mind the agony of the ego the pain of the body wow what a what a beautiful feeling to experience divine love to experience eternal peace to experience contentment and fulfillment my dear friends this world is a mad world people are running after success we are releasing a new book for information in 10 days by rupa publishers it is called happiness is a success it's a new book it's called happiness is success it's published by rupa and it will probably be in bookshops all over india in maybe 10 15 days time but we don't realize what is happiness okay yogini atmatray chidanand yogini shivo sir shivo mukti is the freedom from the cycle of birth and death that is moksha you are talking of the next level i am talking about basic mukti do you have mukti yogini are you free from your attachments are you free from fear are you free from relationships that are binding you down are you free from cravings are you free from anger are you free do you have mukti many many things now i have mukti from good i have got mukti if you have got many things freedom then you are you are blessed because yes. unless you have mukti you can't achieve moksha you need what's called jivan mukti jivan mukti is that state of freedom when you are alive on earth that will lead you to moksha oh, okay but we are today we are not talking about moksha we are talking yeah. about mukti we are talking about freedom on this earth are you uh, yogini have you created any virtue prison for yourself have you no. are you clinging to something are you holding on to something have you created a prison no sir you know something what we do we create a prison for somebody else just imagine we create a prison for somebody else then up, just when we look outside we realize we are also inside the prison we create, we create a prison for somebody and, yeah. and we don't realize by creating the prison we are also inside the prison correct correct then what do you do your intention was to create prison for somebody else but you have already got yourself also in the prison so this is the problem atmatray chidanand thank you sir achyam sir so uh, freedom from relations uh, uh, problem relative problem freedom from economical issues and this types of freedoms we have to get initially uh, that time we can invest in enlightenment purpose what type of what type of freedom you talking freedom from relationships means what what no, are the problems with relationships ha uh, relationship uh, they should be uh, free to give us uh, time for spirituality otherwise the people uh, asking uh, what are you doing ani and uh, our time is uh-huh. so as per the if your yeah. relationship is a non spiritual then there's a yeah. problem if right. your relationship is with spiritual then is there a problem no sir. the problem is in non spiritual relationships hmm suppose right. suppose you are relationship uh, <laughs> i'm just giving an example please huh? so suppose okay. your wife your wife tells take me shopping take me mall take me take me restaurant take me dinner take me movie full day okay. from morning mm-hmm. to night then how you can yeah. do spirituality ah no it is not possible <laughs> no so therefore you it but suppose you convert the relationship to spiritual ah uh, no we can say them but uh, it's uh, their karma ah so that is the problem no you can change everybody you can't change people no atmatray yes 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 <laughs> so then do you do you have mukti then you talked you talked you talked about one more freedom from commercial financial things what come what, uh, what is uh, the meaning if, uh, that? Uh, we are a sufficiently uh, financial uh, background 
<coughs> we need not work for uh, duties or any. Mr. Atmatre, at, Atmatre, uh, we need financial security, correct? Yes. But if we don't have financial security also, and if we are use, we are uh, living few hours, we are working for our needs and for our basic earning, that will not stop our spirituality. It is only when we become greedy, when we want more money and more money and more money, then we create a prison. Then we cannot be freedom. They cannot have freedom. All right, sir. Uh, but uh, right. when uh, I was working, <coughs> 10 hours uh, going in the factory, and uh, where uh, I come at home, uh, we are uh, tired. Uh, we can't uh, get some uh, spiritual uh, meditation. Uh, correct, correct. No, so what you're saying is correct. Therefore, you need the grace of God. You need the grace of God for you to be financially independent. You need GGGG. Very important. We spoke about the grace of God. Grace of ship is very important. Because yes. the ship, ship will liberate us. Ship will provide for us. See, sometimes when God wants us to be on a spiritual journey, God yes. will lead us there. God takes care of our needs. Ship, if ship has a plan for us, then SIP will take care of our finances. We don't have to worry about it. Yes. I'm telling you from my personal experience, I had such a big, such a big problem in my, I had a loan of 50 crores. Once okay. upon a time, I had a loan of 50 crores. I did not right. know how I will, how I will do spirituality. I did not know, mm -hmm. but he liberated me. He, he made me clear the loans. Yes. How he did it. I'm telling you how he did it is a miracle. I have not told you all this story, no? It's a okay. miracle. It's not a. It's not magic. It's a miracle. Oh. <laughs> I thought in my full life I will not be able to clear that loan, but he helped okay. us clear that loan in a matter of two years. Very good. It was a. It was a miracle. So he will come when we are. When we have a. When we have an intention of going on the path of moksha on spirituality, the divine is here to support us. Thank you, Chidanand and Rumata ji. Thank you. Sir. Shivam Guruji, Shivam, Mukti sir. is the only, only attribute of a human being and that is the only purpose of human life is to attain moksha. But before that, you should also, because you are always liberated, it is because of ignorance we feel this bondage. So removal of ignorance itself will, will lead us on the path of uh, liberation. Correct. So therefore, what you are saying? Therefore, therefore, th therefore, therefore, we have to, uh, finally it comes to the same thing. We will have to realize uh, God and uh, attain an enlightenment. That is the only purpose so what of is human important? life. No, you said, you said it's because of ignorance. But what is the importance of mukti? You are saying, if we don't attain mukti, what you are saying is we can't uh, attain the purpose of human life. That's what you are yes, saying. Yes, yes, yes. Because the only and, human being is only a yoga yoni. Rest all yonis are bhogi yonis. As a, it's only like even God aspire to have human life for what? To attain mukti and come and get the freedom from cycle of birth and death. If Beautiful. you don't attain mukti when you are alive, it is impossible to get moksha when, when you die. Beautiful. See, Chidana has said a very beautiful thing. What Chidana is saying, only the human being is capable of mukti. Have you, have you seen a dog raising his hands in prayer? No. I forget that the bhajan. I always like to say that bhajan, but I forget that line. They, you know, it's a, it's a it, where I speak, I, I'll try to please make note, Eru will find this bhajan, where, you know, because of your kripa, I can I can raise my hands in prayer. Ye hat puja kar sakte. Nahi to, we are not, a dog can't pray, a horse can't pray, an elephant can't pray, a butterfly can't pray, a bird cannot pray, only the human being. Therefore, it is so beautiful get that, you know, it's so important for us to reach that state of, a, of human being. Only human being can get mukti. Other animals have to come in the life of a human being and then get mukti and moksha. Mm. Good, uh, Chidan, a very, very nice point. And therefore, Chidan, I put one more point. Importance of overcoming ignorance. See, we human beings, we get attached. Biggest problem. What do we get attached to? I know somebody who's attached to gold, attached to gold. They cannot give up their gold. How can they connect to God? 
all the time in their mind they only got gold gold how much gold i have how much kilos of gold what is the price of my gold what is my worth of my gold are that gold doesn't belong to you he today you are alive the gold is yours tomorrow you will be dead the gold will not be yours we are attached we are attached to possessions we are attached to people sometimes we are so attached to people we cannot connect to god you have to be detached if you are attached to people the people can make you sink and you cannot fly in the sky you cannot reach the elevated position of the divine therefore we need mukti mukti from pleasure sometimes we are we are slaves of pleasures what did my guru told me my guru told me beware of three things that can kill your mukti beauty lust and shame beware of duty duty can rob, can rob your mukti lust can rob your mukti shame can rob your mukti many of us we are we, we feel like shame we feel guilty i feel i feel like i feel shame and guilt and regret no what is that for these are not positive terms they hold you back your freedom your mukti and without mukti we yes, have we have suffer, going to suffer we are going to come back to earth we are going to come back again and again and again and we are going to suffer you know i was in the plane yesterday i was looking at a 70 80 year old lady she wanted to go to the toilet in the plane and she could not walk and obviously she had gone to amritsar to meet her children or something like that how she struggled how she struggled to get up from the chair and to go to the toilet she could not enter the toilet somebody had to help her in the toilet we don't realize we don't realize that age some people reach 80 85 90 90 plus you know how much it is to suffer we don't realize the importance of mukti mukti liberates us and unites us with sit rumata ji rumata ji unmute kijiye ji pranam shivoham pranam bataiye mata ji guru ji when we do actions through god that is we surrender to god we do our efforts honestly with efforts love everything and we don't expect any result we surrender to god then we are free then we experience freedom when we free ourselves from our karmas how do how do you no, no, explain how no no i didn't understand how do you how you get freedom explain to me guru ji suppose we we are doing something and we are expecting the result then we are not free when we do the action and we don't um, uh, expect anything in return okay you know, what you are saying is nishkam karma right this is, this is you are doing you are doing selfless action so when what basically what you are saying is we become free when we become a karma yogi Yes. what you so when you become a karma yogi two important things once one you are always in yoga so those of you who have not captured this very important point nobody has brought up to now what is the way of mukti the way of mukti is to be in yoga because when when you are in yoga you are holding on to yoga you are free from bhoga so that yoga is beautiful how to be in yoga all the time dhyana yoga bhakti yoga karma yoga dhyana yoga prema yoga how do you move from one because when you're in yoga then there's no prison then you're free from bhoga you're free from samsara and rumata ji says when we when we have no expectations when we have no see what is the problem what is the problem in relationships we have expectations we are expecting from the relationship i want this i want this i want this i want no when there are no expectations i'm talking about worldly expectations the spiritual expectations to become one with god is very good to do god's work is very good but there should be no worldly expectations a lot of people have expectation from their children you know what they think oh when i become old na my children will take care of me yes no a lot of people believe mere bacche mere sambhalenge 
if all the children took care of people, there will not be 800 people in our Anath Ashram. 800 people are there in our Anath Ashram and many on the streets. You should believe that God will take care of you. You should not have the expectation. If your children take care, very good. But the moment you have that expectation that your children will take care, then you become attached. And you become attached, then there is no mukti. There is no connection with God. Okay, good. We have a few, some more time. Anybody else? Do you have Bliss's comment? Yeah. I'm reading out Bliss's point. And if any of you want to add some more points, please add. Bliss and Vinita. Bliss says, the freedom of the body and the mind gives us the possibility of being in the way where the soul is linked to the essential to reach God. Freedom is the essential uh, essence for the, of the soul. Good. So what uh, uh, beautiful. Now what Bliss is saying is very important. When there's a freedom of the body, which means the senses. Yesterday we spoke of the senses. When there's freedom of the body and the senses, and we are freedom free, free from the mind and thoughts, then that way the soul becomes free. Bliss, I'm adding one more point. Bliss, we need freedom yeah. from the body, freedom from the mind, and freedom from the ego. Yes, also. Uh, because the ego, Bliss, will keep on saying I and I and I. What is this I? Mm -hmm. I is a false identity. There is yes. no I. I am nothing. In the spiritual journey, what do we learn every day? I am nothing. I am nothing. I am nothing. Very, very important. Yes. And uh, then the soul is free. The soul is always free. But because of ignorance, because of ignorance, we think we are body, mind, ego. Then the soul is trapped. And reality, soul will get free in the moment of death. But the me will come back. Bliss, the soul is not reborn. The me will come back in a new birth. The mind and ego. Good, good bliss. Now we have got uh, Rekha Parvani says she's typed Vinita. Uh, mukti is letting oneself free to experience the joy of being close to the divine. Beautiful. Vedita says, Mukti is the letting oneself free. But what is this letting oneself free is important. Letting oneself free is the ability to be free from samsara. Vedita, I hope you mean that. The minute, Sir Vedita, we are attached to samsara, whether it is people or possessions or pleasures, if it may be anything, the moment we are attached to pleasure, suppose somebody is attached to pleasure. Somebody is so attached to a pleasure, he cannot attain God. He's an addict. Addict to smoking, addict to drinking, addict to gambling. So it's so important. Huh? Which is the song. I'm not able to, there's a, there's a bhajan which I have got. Let me see. Uh, what's up it to P.O. please, the bhajan. So Rekha Parvani, uh, freedom from the triple suffering of BME. Yes. So both uh, Rekha Parvani and even Vinita, both are talking of the same thing. Uh, this freedom, the mukti that we are talking about is freedom from body, mind and ego. But what is this freedom from body, mind and ego? Do you know that? The freedom from the body, mind and ego is what Chidanan said. Chidanan said, it is because of ignorance. I am the body. I am the mind. I am the ego. Okay. This is, uh, this is a newer version. We have the old version. We have to find that. Okay. Next, please. I'm trying to find, every time I try to sing these lines for you all, uh, I don't think Ashok Nichani or Rekha will remember, there's an old bhajan in which we talk about Prabhu, I can put my hand on your hand, this is a great grace that I can put my hand on I'll find that bhajan and give it to you all very shortly, maybe in the next couple of days. Who else would like to give your views? Thank you, Vidita, for your uh, participation, because you're also, I think I've not seen you in the past so much. So, uh, or you can move to any other question. This mukti is there. Uh, I will be available tomorrow one day for, uh, for the call. Day after tomorrow, I may not be there for one day, but I will confirm that with you all tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a uh, we will have a call, and we have one more question of Girish. Girish says, yes, Rekha, one minute. Without mukti, one is not even free after death. 
but he will take rebirth. Yeah, Mukti is the starting point, Girish, obviously. Without Mukti, there's no question of, of uh, Moksha. Therefore, you will come back again and again and again and again and again. Yes, Rekha? Rekha? Is it uh, Prabhu Teri Kripa? Is it Prabhu Teri Kripa? Hai? Jag yeah. mein jo yeah, no, but that... that, that, that the, 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 yeah, but uh, there's one, one <laughs> antra is there where the, I say that... Uh, hmm. Mere heart hai, mere heart jod sakta it's an old bhajan. We'll find it. Don't worry, don't yes. worry about it. The, the Zoom call, mm. we can't yes. we can't find a bhajan in the Zoom call. The call will be over. I've been wanting yes. to sing this bhajan, but in the last two, three days, it's not coming to my it's not coming to my mind, my memory. Okay, so who else would like to contribute anything to this call? Or would you like to ask a question on enlightenment uh, at the any other point? Because every day we are stuck to a topic. So today we'll spend 10, 10 minutes on general questions. For me, mukti is very important. Imagine I did not have mukti. I cannot attain moksha. If I don't attain moksha, I cannot attain uh, liberation from this world. I will suffer. I will be unhappy. I will come back again and again. Guruji, bhakti, bhakti mein jadu hai na ke hume mukti mil jayegi. Bhakti mein jadu. Aisa ke mukti. Aapka bhajan hi hai. Ha, because bhakti will take us to mukti. Bhakti mein hai shakti jisse mile mukti. So, the bhakti, bhakti, bhakti uh, elevates us. So, in that song we say, Avidya me jite, andhkar me jite, sach ka ehsas na hota hai. So, this, this, because bhakti is the magical point. Bhakti will take us to that state of mukti. Bhakti can do a lot. But I'm throwing open this discussion to any points. Many of you may be having many other points. Uh, Prava, I want to ask that mukti means giving space to the life partner. What is Prava saying? I want to ask that mukti means giving space to the life partner and in return find space for oneself. Yes, if you can do that, fantastic Prava. If you can give place space to the life partner and find space for yourself, it's beautiful. But it's not always possible. It doesn't always happen, Prabha. But if uh, the idea is to get space for yourself, you must have your space. If you don't have your space, if your life partner is always nagging you, what's this nonsense? What's this Zoom call you're doing? What you're reading? What's this puja you're doing? What? Then how can you attain mukti? then you become, you become demoralized. Correct? So some people, they even leave the life part for this reason. Because they get so fed up. They get so fed up, then they, they say, I don't want to hear this day in and day out. Suppose you have a life partner who's up, there's somebody who's doing puja, the life partner, we will take all the puja ka saman and put it in the flush and flush it. Oh, then what do you do? Miserable. Your life becomes miserable. Uh, Ah, ah, so that is a problem. That is a big problem in life when you have a and you know, uh, Prabha. It's not only that. This journey of spirituality does not mean that you don't have to have a partner, but you should not create a prison with that partner. Right. Having a partner is not bad, but having an imprisoned relationship is bad. Where the partner doesn't allow you space for your spirituality. That is very bad. Yeah. So if you give him the space in return, he will also understand your requirement Correct. and importance and give you the space. Absolutely. Yes. But sometimes we do we do opposite. We don't give space, but we do we want space. Or we yeah. don't give space and we don't mind we don't mind losing our own space. Our space, yeah. Then what happened? What do you gain in the bargain? Yeah, nothing. True. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we have to be very, our priority is very clear. Our priority is mukti, nothing else. You know, sometimes, sometimes it is, it is also about possessiveness. Sometimes we are so possessive yeah. that that possessiveness creates a prison. Then we cling, then we get attached, then we are not able to get mukti. Then the whole journey, then we become frustrated. Right. Rekha Chaudhary, Sudhir Bhargava. Rekha Chaudhary. Oh, no. 
बच्चों को बच्चों को आपका आवाज ठीक नहीं आ रहा रेखा योर वॉइस इज नॉट हियर क्लियर नाउ स्पीक स्पीक ट्राई टू स्पीक बच्चों को कर्मा कब से फॉलो करना चाहिए From from the time they are capable, we are writing a new book. It is called Spirituality for Children. I think uh, it will take about one month, maybe maybe if we are lucky, maybe one month or two months. I don't know when this is going to get ready, but the book will be ready soon. Spirituality for children, spiritual stories to help children attain karma, realize God. So please remind remind us next month. Hopefully, I will try to give you a copy. Uh, one thing I want to ask the. Uh... आपका कभी न्यूज़पेपर में ऐसा कोई नाम आया है जर्नी में मतलब आपका आवाज ठीक नहीं आ रहा है रेखा रेखा वॉइस इज़ नॉट हाउ टू स्पीक सुधीर सर शुभम so one point is that can we get the freedom from the duels of the likes and dislikes from the duel of the likes and dislikes I like something. Yeah, I dislike something. So I should be free from that, uh, from that process of making a choice and then moving forward. Because so I think I... in spirituality, uh, Chidanand will tell us it is often called raga dvesha. Right. Chidanand, so Chidanand, is it right? Uh, Sudeep Bhargava is talking about raga dvesha. You want to say something, Chidanand? Yeah, Chidanand. Yeah, So basically, raga dvesha is one of the shadow repose. We have to get freedom. It is our job to uh, see that we are free from that raga dvesha. And what is raga dvesha? Pradnaya. I'm asking Sita you. In, in, in simple words, what is raga dvesha? In simple words, attraction and aversion. Okay. So Sudeep, this is what they 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 call it attraction and aversion. What you are saying, likes and dislikes, is the same thing. See in this world. when there are a lot of likes so the what happens when those likes are there we become attached to them so we are we don't have freedom when there are dislikes we become attached to even them we don't realize but we are attached to our dislikes because constantly we are slaves of what we dislike correct sudeep we are, we are we are constantly we we become enslaved to that we don't want it But the dislike, oh, I dislike. Every time you pass that fellow's door, your mind remains. It reminds you that rascal, that nonsense fellow, that fellow is such a robber. Uh, robber, he's a chore. No, I don't want it. But that, so Sudeep, what is the best way? What best thing to do, Sudeep, is to give up these likes and dislikes. Is not to have any. That's why they say no ragadvesha, no extra liking, no extra disliking. because you come to realize everything is a manifestation of the divine so when that everything is a manifestation of divine app happens then what happens then there's no like and there's no raga dvesha because everything is sip okay i hope i hope you got it thank you okay uh, we have one more ari ari Pas- prasad yes please ari so new person can you please unmute and speak ask your question Hello. ari prasad yeah. yes am i audible sir Yes, please. Yes, Ari. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, to my understanding, just a thought of mukti or moksha comes once you are settled or you are in a comfortable position economically or from the family background, whatever it is. So that is first point. That's that's okay. That is nothing wrong in that. How to balance your duty along with your spiritual uh, aspirations? For example, if I am totally detached, if I don't have any goals, uh, I've got a bunch of uh, people around me who are competing with me. So at some point of time, when you are totally in a spiritual path, in a detached mode, uh, I feel lagging. Uh, rather, I'm not giving my full potential. I always find how to balance my uh, duty or my work, professional work. along with my spirituality or spiritual aspiration whatever it is taking your advice please please don't miss tomorrow's call tomorrow's topic is how to balance our life that is, they just they have just sent me the image for tomorrow so please don't miss tomorrow's call and the the subject of tomorrow's call is how to balance our life but uh, I, 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 do i pronounce your name correctly is it, do i call you ari or prasad what do i call you you call me ari sir ari prasad ari. so so ari no sir hari is ari hello 
Yeah, Paul. So, Ari, the, the important thing is this. The, um, this whole concept of trying to balance doesn't work. I will explain that to you tomorrow. You have to integrate. Uh, unfortunately, it's a whole subject tomorrow. What has to happen is you have to move in the, you have to move in one path. So either you're moving in this material world and there's a little of spirituality, it's fine. Or you're having a spiritual life and there's little of material, it's fine. But you have to have a clarity which direction you want. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm getting so see, Ari, it's like this. Suppose you want to be successful. Then you can go on being successful. Being successful, 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 successful. You can also be religious. You can also be spiritual. But your, your purpose is success. But then the question comes, where will you reach? As you, when you keep on achieving success, then where will you reach? Okay, you become a millionaire. Then you become a billionaire. Then you become the richest man in the world. Then you die. Then what is the purpose of life? Sir, sorry to counter. Yeah. If I am in a path of detachment, yeah. when my uh, ultimate goal is attaining mukti, yes. first of all, I don't accumulate any wealth. Correct. For that matter. Second, uh, I don't have any goal. See, if I don't have any goal, my mind, become, my mind will become totally vacant. Yes. Right? Because I don't have any path to go apart from your spiritual aspiration. Yes. And uh, in that position, like you said, once you become a millionaire, then there is nothing else to achieve. If yeah. I attained this moksha or mukti, detachment from everything, then there is nowhere else to go. What so is when you have, yeah, that's it. So, if I, I am thoughtless, when my mind is completely empty. So, then, so what is the problem? If, Ari, if your goal is mukti, and you want to attain mukti, then what is the problem? Are you saying that you are not able to attain mukti because there's a problem economically or there's a problem in your uh, life? What is? Explain to me what is the problem. It's a very interesting case. What is the problem then? Yes. Problem is you have got your dependents, father, mother, husband, wife, and kids. Yeah. When you have got, you let them be their weight, weight be, which are pulling down below. They are gravitating. Uh, not letting you fly away, you cannot, just like that, you can't leave them and attain mukti or moksha. If I do like that, then I have to leave my house behind and to reach to Himalaya, which <laughs> is not possible. So again, I'm sticking to my first question, how to balance? So I think your answer, I hope that your first answer is very clear. If I ask you, is your goal success or is your goal enlightenment? What is your goal? Obviously, for enlightenment. Because your most goal of people is, give you happiness. If your, goal is, yeah, if your goal is enlightenment, then you have got to move forward in that path, having the faith that your dependence will not suffer. And that does not mean you have to go to Himalayas. It does not mean that you have to ignore the dependence. But you have to have a clarity as to what you want. Let me explain to you. Suppose today we have to provide food Correct for our sure. for our for our for our children, but while we have to provide food and do our enlightenment work, if our goal is to provide jalebi and biryani and makhanwala and tandoori, then all our time and attention goes to providing all those things. Sir, sure. so we have to have clarity on to fulfill our need and to move forward on the enlightenment path. Of course, it's wrong for me to give too much comment, Ari, because I don't know your uh, life personally, unless you uh, talk to me personally, you take my take the number, my number is on the screen. And your, it, your, it, it's, sometimes it's a case to case basis. It all depends upon each individual case. But all, uh, and as I told you, to please attend the call tomorrow, this whole challenge of trying to balance life, you know, Ari, have you seen a seesaw? So, a seesaw is like balancing. You go down, then you go up, then you go down, then you go up, then you go down. Finally, where do you reach? Finally, you reach nowhere. You can't balance. So tomorrow, in fact, the whole subject, as I told you, my subject, I, every day, evening, this, every day at the Zoom call, I come to know what's tomorrow's topic. How to balance our life. I'm giving you all, since Ari has asked the question, tomorrow's topic, I'm telling you all today. A lot of people have this problem. How to balance? You know something? 
Ari, one more thing I'll tell you. Sir. We do not, we do not carry everybody's everybody's burden on our head. We we have got some responsibilities, but we cannot say me. I am responsible for my mother, my father, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my son, my grandson, my grand, my daughter-in-law, my grandchildren. If you put the whole world's responsibility on your head, then you will be dead. I am not saying that you should ignore all responsibilities. You have to take some responsibilities which are your responsibilities, but you don't have to be. You don't have to cling to attachments. There's a big difference, and we can talk about it more tomorrow. And I hope you have my number. You can uh, send me some more details on WhatsApp, and I will be happy to answer you either tomorrow before the call or maybe after the call. Roger. Can I talk to you after the call, please? So, so my dear friends. let us end this uh, conversation our time has come to an end sometimes you have an interesting interesting question and you go on and on in the interesting question but one thing i'll tell you my dear friends before i end the call mukti is the most precious thing in the world if you if you if you don't if you're not able to attain mukti and you remain a prisoner then your entire life is a waste therefore let mukti be a priority i fold my hands and i bow down to you.